Well, she's ready for rough grading. So I'm going to scoop the dirt out from this side and dump it over there on the low side. And hopefully I end up with a nice pad big enough for the building I want to make. The other thing is that there's a property line that runs right through this clearing. Basically from this old growth stump right through the middle and across. So I got to make sure the building is on that side of that line. So you can see there's a pretty good slope here. It's probably, you know, a good four feet higher up there than it is here. What I'm gonna do is set up the laser and I'm gonna dig this high side out down, down probably two or three feet and throw the dirt over this way and create a somewhat level pad here. And this, um, I'll keep like a slope of like a quarter inch per foot from there out. So basically that'll mean it'll drop about a foot or so from there to here. You know, there's a lot of trees in here, a lot of stump holes. It's pretty uneven, that's for sure. And lots of roots still kind of sticking out here and there. So I need to switch buckets and then I'll get to work. Okay, so I kind of got a nice level line all dug out, and I'm just going to start digging and working and throwing in the soil over here, and working my way back. And this wind is freezing. So much for a nice warm day.
do a little bit of work here. I gotta knock this pile down. I gotta come along this edge and polish it up. Um, and in the back there, I gotta finish. And then, oh, there's some dirt back over there. So there's quite a bit still. And if I get to it, this needs to be done too, but uh, oh. I'm gonna move some of this topsoil over there by the greenhouse, make some more beds. All right, let's get to it. Next step is to come back with a hand rake and I'm going to kind of hand rake some of these these high spots down into the low spots and uh, throw off any of these chunks of wood that are on the surface. And while I'm doing that I'll set up the sprinkler to wet it then I can drive over it a, a bunch of times with the backhoe. I might fine rake it one more time to take off any high spots. And then it appears pretty much be ready for gravel. And I can go ahead and lay out where the building's gonna go. Uh, I still got this kind of the driveway to finish moving some dirt. I gotta scrape it down a little bit, pack the dirt over here, maybe bring it down a little bit. I gotta go up to that corner, strip that corner off and dump it here. And then we'll have to check to see if I need to bring any more dirt or if that's gonna be um, workable. I don't want it too steep. I'm gonna go ahead and start digging this out to put in the slab for the kiln here. So the kiln will be this square here, or rectangle. And then this will just be a little slab once the kiln is built. Uh, the floor of this will be gravel, and then that slab will be where the mill will go, the sawmill. But that slab will be built after this. So I'll just scoop these out about a foot deep or so and same with this about a foot deep but I'm gonna excavate about two feet out around the outside so let's get started
Not too bad. So it's pretty good. It's roughly level. There's a little dip here, but it's no big deal. So I'll dump about four to six inches of gravel in here, smooth it out, level it out, compact it, just trim off these roots. And then I'll be able to build forms on top of that compacted gravel. First I'll probably rake this out just a little bit, fill in the holes touch and then yeah but the next step I can dig the trench from the house all the way through and then the conduit will just lay on top well I might dig us just a little shallow trench for the conduit to sit in and then come right up into the wall all right I'm gonna take a break and then come back and probably dig dig the trench for the conduit <laughs> 